Lions TV, this is a brand spanking new series for the channel uh, in an attempt just to absolutely bombard and pepper you with constant Millwall daily content. No jokes aside, I love talking about Millwall, as you've probably worked out by now, and hopefully you like listening to it. So as I said, this is going to be a weekly video, and it's going to be called The Lions on Loan. Two players out on loan currently, two more I expect to follow before the transfer window's out, so we should have plenty to talk about and discuss going forward with this series. If you watch the channel regularly, you'll know that I, I really get a kick from watching the 23s. I love watching the 23s and the second-year scholars almost as much, really, as I enjoy watching the first team, if I'm honest. Like watching them, seeing how they progress, seeing how I predict to myself, and maybe you now, on this, on this show, who's going to come along, who's going to progress and get in the first team, who may not. So for the first time in a long time as well, we've got, at the minute, a really exciting influx. Uh, the 18s coming into the 23s, Sean O'Brien, Nana Botan, players like that. And also the 23s that have now kicked on into around the first team, uh, Isaac Alafe, Hayden Muller, Alex Mitchell and Tyler Bury. And they're pretty much the players we're going to be talking about in today's video. So as I said, two of those out on loan, two more to follow. Isaac Alafe is currently injured. We've not heard a lot on that since the tour of Scotland in pre-season. So hopefully you're in a little bit about that soon. Hopefully he'll be back to fitness soon and we can get him out on loan to a league side. I think he will go to a league side. Uh, I don't think that he'll go back to Sutton, unfortunately for them. They are now in the league of Corks. But I think Isaac Alafe could be looking for a maybe a higher level League 2 or League 1 club. Alex Mitchell made the squad on Saturday, but didn't make the bench. Of course, he's got stiff competition in the first team with Daniel Ballard, Jake Cooper, Sean Hutchinson, Murray Wallace and Alex Pierce all in front of him in the pecking order. So he, I expect, unless an injury comes in the next couple of weeks to one of those aforementioned players, I see Alex Mitchell going out on loan. Um, there is There has been an inquiry for Alex Mitchell from a League 2 side. I won't say anything more than that. I think the club turned it down. You know, and that's, that, that, that speaks volumes about Al's progression at the club because... Um, you know, there wasn't, they didn't feel it was the right move for him. Probably a better club coming in for him. They're waiting for that, or potentially he could be sticking around because he's absolutely done brilliantly and progressed very quickly through the 23s. So let's talk now about the players that are out on loan and how they got on. Let's start out with Hayden Muller because I wanted to cover this anyway last week, but it wasn't really video worthy, if you like. There wasn't enough in it just to tell me, so I posted it out on social media. Hayden Muller. Uh, the Rolls Royce of a centre back, as I call him, the best player from the 23s last season, in my opinion. Um, great centre back, as I said, Alex Mitchell, good centre back as well, but different types of players. Hayden's a real, he likes to carry the ball out the back and go on his mad runs and, and play as well. And he actually had a couple of shots at goal yesterday as well in his first start for St Johnston in the SPL. They drew 1 1 against Motherwell, and he played 90 minutes. So, well done to Hayden. I expect that to continue now. Going forward, I can't see he'll get out of the side. Didn't make the uh, starting line-up at the start of the season. Obviously, the Scottish League are a little bit in front of us. I think two or three weeks, but straight in, worked his way in, and I expect him to stay there now. It was it was brilliant for him as well, because if, if you don't know, St. Johnston uh, won the Scottish Cup last year, which, of course, put him into Europe, and they drew Galatasaray. So, they actually had Galatasaray away a couple of weeks ago, a week ago, and um, he travelled and was on the bench, but didn't get on in the game. But that aside, to go to Gal Galatasaray will be absolutely just fantastic experience for him, and, and, and I would have been good stead going forward, I'm sure. Well done to Hayden, buzzing for him, and I'm sure he's going to do a Danny Mac. That's what I'm going to call it. Hayden's going to do a Danny Mac and he's going to come back. Uh, it is a season long loan at uh, St Johnston and I think we will leave him there for the whole season unless we have injuries but as I've said already plenty of cover for us at centre back. So I expect Hayden to play the full season at St Johnston and I'll keep you posted about his progress. And of course the other loan player is Tyler Bury. He joined Hartlepool newly promoted to League 2 as well along with Sun. Hartlepool went up in the playoffs. They are now back in the league. Jeff Stelling side and um, they got a good result. First game, Tyler Bury, he didn't start. And I feel, I was thinking about this earlier, I feel I've been a bit, bit overcritical of Tyler almost. He, I always point out his bad points, which is his failure to have a final delivery uh, and he's um, a little bit self-indulgent at times. So I'm going to flip this on its, on its head now and I'm going to say this. It's very good and it's very rare to find a player as confident as he is just to run with the ball fearlessly. And, you know, having the confidence and the legs and the ability to do that is only, is only a good thing. And I, I was surprised he didn't start for Hartlepool, if I'm honest. You know, he, he does well. He does carry the ball and that can also drag your team up the pitch and get you into attacking areas and, and take pressure off your back four. And when he has come on for us, he does do that very well. That isn't the issue for me. The issue is his final ball. But as I said, he's in absolutely the right place. Surprised he didn't start for Hartlepool, but he came off the bench and set up the winner for Hartlepool as they beat Crawley. Tony Craig, still playing legend, 
Still going strong for Crawley as well at centre back, but they was the losers on the day. Two Tyler Bury's Hartlepool. Hartlepool winning the game by one goal to nil. I watched the goal earlier. I think it's the 88th minute as well. Comes off the bench. First instance, he gets the ball drilled into him uh, from, a, from a centre half on the halfway line. Uh, defender up his arse, wipes him out, but Tyler does well, controls the ball, lays it off. Doesn't moan about, you know, it should be a free kick. The ref plays a good advantage. He pops back up, receives the ball in a good little tight area, and he, he puts in a piece of a cross to the guy. He's still got a bit of work to do to finish it, but he does finish it. And, you know, as I said, he can carry the ball well in the championship. So I think unleashed on League Two, he should absolutely thrive at Hartlepool. So a good weekend all round for the low knees. I hope you've enjoyed this video. As I said, as we go on, I expect Alex Mitchell to go out on loan and Isaac Alafe, if we ever hear anything about him again, if he gets fit. Um, so we should have more content for this video going forward. And I'll do it round up every week on a Monday. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Pre-match prediction preview for tomorrow night's game against Pompey. Out later on. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.